Hey everybody, the bong is back. Welcome to part four. Let's play Warriors of Fate. Brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Ooh, birdie. Why did I need to eat two pigs? Okay, so basically I just gotta go through here. Let's throw down. We must be very close to the end. They usually put in the epic music for last. That's the kind of war music you want to hear for the last stage. I can't let you live. Not with all this money you're holding. You better not mess with me, Gutsman. And again, this is Capcom, so I would not be surprised if it actually was Gutsman. How to fuck with guts, man, while burning Twilight books. Now that is a great read. Up, oh, you down. <laughs> Bader. What's your last name? Master? A uh, first name? Master? Haha. <laughs> That's funny. Die, Wood, you don't belong in this world. What's this? Peking Duck. There actually is Peking Duck in this game. Funny, when I mentioned Peking Duck in one part, I thought it'd be just a sad joke. Turns out it actually is in this game. That is so awesome. I've had duck before, it's really good. Like, it's nice and tender. I've had it with a sweet Thai chili sauce. It was awesome. I recommend you try it. Oh, I can't destroy this piece of wood. Oh, this must be the final boss. If I can reach him. I guess he wasn't counting on the water being this shallow. Now nah, he will never get this bother get his boots wet oh but you thought wrong I'm not wearing any socks Man, I gotta deal like three of these schmoes while getting my feet wet for some reason, he thought that I was not going to be able to bother cross that bridge just by burning it. Did he measure the water first? <laughs> Apparently, his plan did not work. I guess he's counting on me getting pneumonia, but I guess the water is not even cold. I mean, none of us have a problem fighting in it. Look, it wasn't even that long. An 810. Is that supposed to be a really powerful sword? Oh, so far it's passing the smell test. Remember what enemy I've been hitting so far, granted they have very low health, it's being sliced in half. How often do I have to do this? Uh huh, you didn't like it. I have no Akila Okan. Temujin Khan. Aww. Okay, basically, it's kind of like the uh, same sprite as Liu Bu from Dynasty Wars. I think that's what a uh, Temujin Khan is supposed to be. Granted, with the translation. So, yeah, let's go and kick some ass. To be honest, this game, or something like it, puts me in the mood to play Destiny of an Emperor for the NES. Well, I've been playing through some of it, but I mean, as a Let's Play, but that probably won't be for any time soon, because I'm currently busy with other stuff. I just mean that there is a possibility for it, 
because it is a very interesting RPG. You fail. Dude, you got a big ass sword and a whip. Why would you need a whip if you got a giant sword that would make Cloud jealous? It's like a battle of big swords here. And my big sword's gone. Ha, <laughs> you knock me right into the other guy and I give him the big suplex. Ow! That's a very unorthodox way to grab someone. And he just chokeslammed me. And I died. Okay, well it's different boss music entirely. Safe to say, he's gonna be one epic boss. Probably one of the last ones. Ow, was that a combo? Well, this definitely wasn't the Burger King combo, because I didn't have it my way. Okay, now his health is in green. Okay, now it's almost in urine color. I just gotta keep going. I mean, I like that I'm able to hurt the enemies whenever I die and come back. It's just that the kind of issue I have is you take away way too much health from them. Like, all I'm doing is showing up. Shouldn't I just, like, stun them and they only lose a small fraction of their health? Like, make me work for it, you know? Finish ya! Now I jump on your feet. And I got the handle of his blade in my face. Very awkward. Surrender now! You have no way to escape! Okay, so I had to beat up this guy in, like, just a few seconds. Either that or he's gone for good. Finish I win! No, this cannot be true! How can I possibly have been defeated by you? By awesomeness? I'm guessing I still would've got the ending anyway if he escaped, but it just wouldn't have been a good one. Yeah, I win! Kazar, you have done well indeed. You have earned the gratitude of the people and the eternal thanks of the Empire of the land of will prosper in peace, and that's it. That's all you can do. Oh, they gave me, uh, the whole list of points I got from beating the bosses. That's always nice. Yeah! I get some virgins! Yeah! That better not be all I get. Same canned applause. With the defeat of Akela Orkan, Quan Ti soon rebuilt his kingdom. With peace and prosperity restored to the land, he began a log of Croy's ring which remembered and celebrated for generations. And that's it! That's War Warriors of Fate for the arcade. I'm glad you all got a chance to enjoy it just as much as I enjoyed playing it. Ass! No censorship! Nice, Capcom! Poo! <laughs> Poo! Oh, that's epic. First name to show up in a friend's cr credits, Fukumoven. <laughs> oh, Tanuki, nice. So yeah, stay tuned for more Let's Plays in the future. This is the Banga signing off saying goodbye, Godspeed, and stay tuned for my next Let's Play. Let's watch the rest of the ending, see if we can find anything else that's funny. <laughs> Bull. Alex. 
Oh, that's funny. And there's pretty much my finisher there. Yeah, ass is on top of cap. And com. And CP and whatever. See ya, everyone.